high year two, this is activity B. We're going to be looking at five minute intervals on a digital clock. So remember, on the left are the hours and on the right are the minutes. Right, so what I'd like you to do, please, is use the blank clock that I've sent you to record these digital times on an analogue clock. You pause the video and then you can click on the times to check your answers. So we're going to look at minutes past the hour now. So five past, ten past, quarter past, twenty past, twenty-five past, half past. So the numbers before the colon, remember, show the hour and the numbers after the colon show the minutes that have passed since it was o'clock. So this clock, the hour is five and five minutes have passed since the hour. So the time is five minutes past five. On this clock, you can see the hour is 10 and 20 minutes have passed since the hour. So the time is 20 minutes past 10. So this time, the hour is 3 and then you can see that 10 minutes have gone past 3 o'clock. So we would say it is 10 minutes past three. So what I'd like you to do now is show this time on the analog clock. clock. <laughs> so pause it while you do that and then you can see the answer. Hope you got it right. So, what time do these digital clocks tell? Write it down this time. Hopefully you got it right, 25 past 8, 10 past 5 and 20 past 2. So, now we're looking at minutes to the hour. So that's five two, ten two, quarter two, twenty two, twenty five two, and then obviously if it went on to the six it would be half past. So remember the numbers before the colon show the hour. The numbers after the colon show the minutes past the hour. So on this clock, the hour is seven, 50 minutes past since the hour. So it's 7.50. So, the time is 10 minutes to 8. Be 
because remember, once it goes past half past, we say minute two. So on this clock, the hour is 11 and 40 minutes have passed since the hour. So we would say that there are 20 minutes to 12. Now, we know it's 20 minutes because there are 60 minutes, remember, in one whole hour. So if it's at 40, we can count up in tens, 50, 60, so that's two tens, and two tens make that 20 minutes. So on this clock, the hour is three, and you can see that 35 minutes has gone past three o'clock. So think how you would write this time down. Remember, count from the 35 up to 60. So it's 25 minutes to four. We'd add five minutes first to get to 40. And then we've already previously worked out from 40 to 60 is 20 minutes. So we would say this is 25 minutes to 4. So on this clock, the hour is 1, the minutes past is 55. So remember, we've got to go from 55 to 60. And that's 5 minutes. So we would say this time is five minutes to two. And we would say it's five minutes to two because the hour is already one, remember, and 55 minutes has gone past one o'clock. So it can't be five minutes to one. It has to be to the next hour, five minutes to two. So what we want you to do now is look at how you would represent the digital time on an analogue clock. So we know that it is four. See. The next one, one thirty-five. So on the analogue clock, you can see the small hand, the hour hand is just past the one. And it said 35 minutes has gone past, so remember we count round the edge in fives. So we're going to have a go at the next one. So 3.55, so that's really close, 55 to 60. So you can see the hour hand is really close to the four. And then we count round the minute hand from the 12 in fives, and then we stop when we get to 55. So that's why the hand is big hand is pointing to the 11. And that's five to four. So this one, the hour is 10 and 35 minutes has gone past. So the hour hand, the small hand is past 10. And again, we count round the outside until we get to 35. So that time is 25 to 11. Hope you got that one right. So this time you need to write what times the digital clock says, either on a whiteboard at home or just on a piece of paper. So remember to pause the video whilst you do that. So the first one, is 10 to 2. Second one is 25 to 1. And the last one is 20 to 8. So 
So this time we want you to write the digital time that's on the analog clock. Again, pause it while you work it out. Hopefully you can see that the small hand isn't on the one yet. So the hour is still 12. And then we count round the edge of the clock, remember, in fives to get to 40. Have a go at this one. Yeah, and remember to pause it 